Hey, welcome back tech fans. I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow and today we're going to show you something I get a lot of questions on. I get many emails from people and messages saying, hey man, I just bought new memory but when I put it in my computer it doesn't show up at the right speed. Well, there's a reason for that. Most of the time your computer just defaults at whatever its standard memory clock speed is. So if you see the board it says 1300 and that's what it's going to be at when you boot it up. Now with that said though, there is a way to engage your memory and make sure you're getting the maximum performance out of it. Now today I'm using this new Crucial Ballistics. This is the Ballistic Elite memory. It's 1866 megahertz. It's CAS 9, 1.5 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and set the extreme memory profile on my Asus motherboard. Now I have the maximum for extreme motherboard back behind me on a test station. First I'm going to show you how to put the memory onto the board and then we're going to jump in the BIOS and I'll show you how to make sure that your memory is running at all the correct speeds. So with that said, let's jump over now and let's first First, install the memory onto the motherboard. All right, folks, so here we can see we have the Z77 motherboard on the test station. I'm going to go install the first set of memory sticks. You can see that back here, this is locked. This doesn't move at all. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the little notch in here that matches up to the notch in the motherboard. So inside the lane, I'm going to go ahead and put the first stick in. And I'm going to very gently push the memory down and then lock it into place. I'm going to do this four times until I get all four sticks in the slots. So just keep doing this one at a time. I'm kind of at a weird angle when I'm doing this. I should have probably stood up for this video, but here's, here's the third slot here. And last but not least, we have the fourth stick. We have all four sticks of memory in place. So now I can go ahead and replug back in the 24 pin power supply. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the test station back to where it goes and we're going to boot it up into the BIOS. Okay folks, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the system up. And when you start the system up, the very first thing you're going to want to do is hit the delete key on your keyboard. You're going to see a little screen pop up on the window and it's going to ask you to do that. I usually just start by hitting the delete key anyways. As you can see, press delete to enter the BIOS. Now, this is the latest CAT BIOS from ASUS. Works very, very well works with very many different mice. I tried a bunch of different ones, working really good. Now you can see when you first come in here, it has the target DRAM speed of 1333 megahertz. Now that's not the 1866 that this memory was geared for. So many people just go ahead and start the computer up, leave it in there and don't do anything. So we're gonna go down here, do different stuff. Don't do this. A lot of people just go in here and they change the memory frequency to a high rate. This can sometimes result in your system being overclocked and being unstable. You want to find the XMP profile. That's what we're going to do. Now, what you want to do, though, is you're going to want to go in here to where you have your AI overclock tuner. Inside of here, you click a button. You know, it says auto, manual, and XMP. So you go in here. You enable the XMP profile. You can see now it says XMP, DDR3, 1867, and all the CAS and RAS values are all there, including the correct voltage. So after that, all you do is you go up to the exit screen, save changes and reset, hit yes, and now we'll watch the system reboot and you'll see that the system recognizes the memory at its correct values. It's very easy to do, but so many people forget to do this. Okay, everybody, I really hope that that helps. It's a very simple thing to do, but it's very important to do. In many other motherboards, it may look a little bit different, but it's going to be also very similar. You're just going to want to make sure that you hop into the BIOS and make sure you engage your XMP profile. The Extreme Memory Profile is there for a reason. Make sure you use it. Now, on the screen behind me, I have a shot of CPU ID where it actually shows all the different memory timings and all the things about the crucial memory as well. Here you can see all of the CAS and RAS values. You can see there's also a bunch of different settings and to the far right, you can see the one that we're using, which is the one that's the XMP profile. So that's it folks. Tell us what you guys think of this video. Should we do more how-to videos? We were thinking about doing how to install a video card, how to install sound cards. Let us know what you guys think. Your feedback's important. Peace out.